Hi everyone. Do you know the most dangerous place to be in this country? How about in the whole world? Well, it's not New York or Chicago. It's not Colombia or Iraq. It's in a mother's womb. Last year, over 40 million babies across the globe were denied the chance at life. That's 79 killed every minute of every day. Almost a million aborted in the United States alone. That's over 79,000 every month of the year. If you were to look at the top 10 causes of death in the United States, things like heart disease, stroke, accidents, if you add all 10 up together, that number of deaths still pales in comparison to the number of abortions performed at various points of gestation. I know you've heard news of the recent law passed in New York allowing abortions to be performed right up until the time of birth. Can you believe it? I'm sure you are as disgusted as I am. The reality of extremely late-term abortions, over 13,000 performed in the United States last year, makes me sick to my stomach. Have you seen the pictures? Actually, right now, there's a piece of legislation proposed in Arizona very similar to the one in New York. Let's step up and say no, not in our state. There's a national effort called the Day of Mourning. You can check it out at dayofmourning.org. The, the idea is to join together all across the country to do a few simple things in solidarity, in mourning, and repentance. Organizers of the Day of Mourning say it this way, 61 million lives and 46 years is too long for the church to stay silent. February 23rd, we are ending our apathy and taking a day to mourn the unborn. Would you join us in these simple ways? Wear black, don't shop, and close business. Repent for our nation. I'll be wearing black, not shopping, and spending time in prayer that day, February 23rd, this coming Saturday. New Life Thrift Shop will be closed in observation of the day of mourning, the day when we set time aside to mourn the unborn. I hope you'll join me and please pray hard. We need the Lord to change the hearts of women everywhere, to reveal to them the sanctity of life, the value and potential of every preborn child. Are you willing to pray for an hour this coming Saturday? Half an hour? How about 10 minutes of dedicated intercession? If so, take a minute, comment on this post, the time you can spend in prayer. Perhaps we can cover the whole day. Also, another way you can get involved is to contact your legislator about HB 2696, that bill before the House that would remove protection for a baby born in the process of abortion. So in my area, my legislators are Sylvia Allen and Bob Thorpe, and we'll put their contact information below too. But if you're in another area, just look yours up. Give them a call, send them an email, do something to make your voice heard. I pray that you all will be blessed on this day as you take a moment to just turn your heart toward God and to seek his heart on this matter and intercede for these babies who have lost their lives. So... Um, God bless you. God bless our country. Take care.